Okay, here I have one that's actually active. So I wanted to pull my uh, phone out here and record it and catch a video of it. If we listen, the engine's surging, but it's surging rapidly. And normally these engines won't respond that rapid unless it's compensating for an ICP problem. The customer's concern is that he pulled off the freeway and had no throttle response. That's almost always either a sticking turbo or a bad ICP sensor. So I started, I went in here and I monitored my VGT and it is sticking here in an idle. But sometimes you get that when you have a aftermarket exhaust. So, cause it's trying to create boost. What I'm mainly concerned with is if we look at my IPR, the percentage that it's working and how it's fluctuating quite a bit. Now again, that could be compensating for anything. It could be air in the fuel, it can be other issues. The IPR can be compensating, but the IPR should never hit 15%. If it gets really low, then it's dumping fuel because it thinks it has too much pressure. Well, it's dumping pressure. It's dumping the injection pressure, the oil pressure, because it thinks it has too much injection pressure. So um, this one, I I'm actually think I'm going to find a bad ICP sensor. Now, even though that looks stable, it's it's because the input's changing. The IPR is trying to compensate. And if we listen here to the engine, it's doing that because the pressures that it's the reading it's getting it's false. So what I'm getting at is it, it thinks it has higher pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and drive it and watch what IPR should do. And the best thing I can tell you to try to help you out here is IPR should never hit 15 or 85%. If it hits 15, it's dumping when it shouldn't be. Because at a normal idle, these things run at, say, 25%, maybe 22, 26% um, at a warm idle, and maybe 30% on a cold idle. And then going down the road, they're under full throttle, high 70s, very low 80s, um, light throttle, 50 to 60. So something's telling me that this one thinks it has more pressure than it does. That's usually a bad ICP sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and drive and see if I can duplicate the throttle sticking concern or no throttle response. Actually, I'm not going to drive it because it's doing it right now. I have no throttle response. It won't do anything. You can see up here that I'm moving the throttle pedal. You hold it down, up. So I'm moving the throttle pedal and nothing's happening. So now it's it's acting up. And again, everything, if you look at it, it all seems to be right other than the turbo sticking, but the turbo could just be trying to compensate for it. So what we would do now that it's acting up, I go ahead and shut it off, turn the key back on, And look at what my ICP. You can see, there we go. You can see my ICP with the engine off. It thinks it has 800 pounds of pressure, and it's uh, it's over one volt. So there's my problem. Even though you know we look at it, it did have the VGT going. Normally you would just go, okay, I have a sticking turbo, but nope, this one's an ICP. And also see it's now it's a no start because it thinks it has pressure so it's dumping. Here we go, now it wants to start. And it's responding. I'm gonna try to drive it. It's working right now for a second. Let's see if I I don't know if I get this to act up. I want to show you something else here we can do. But at least we found the problem with this one, having a bad ICP sensor. If I can get it to stick and that IPR to start to drop again, then I'll show you how to just unplug it and verify the concern too. Right now with that percentage, everything that's probably actually true and live. It's right. Let's see.
So far it's all good. Pull over and let it idle and see what it wants to do. And let it idle for a bit and see if I can catch this. Okay, it's not acting up at this second, but I do want to show you just so we can have a, a known good values. As you see, the um, the turbo's working right there comfortably at 78%, IPR roughly 20-21%, ICP voltage and ICP pressure. Okay, I cannot get this one to act up again, and it's a waiter, so I can't keep playing with it. I need to get it finished. But I want to just go over a few things. You can see now, you know, the importance of knowing IPR percentage. And here, you know, it's, it's actually getting closer to normal than it is from wanting to show sticking. So I'm glad I did catch the one in the Turbo VGT. And another thing that's pretty important here, we'll go up, look at it here. It was leaving a code for the Turbo. Well, lack of boost code, which is normally a Turbo P0299. That's normally what we find when we find a 299 code. But this one, it was the, um, because the computer thinks everything's in specs, it, it doesn't know um, what to do when the ICP is a false input. It was given as a, a low boost code. So when you get these that's weird, make sure you watch IPR percentage. And that's why I always try to emphasize that it should never hit 15 or 85%. If it does, it's compensating for something. And that's running, not key on, engine off. And then just one more thing, just to show you, if you ever get in the situation, if you want to, you know, like if you're a, uh, somebody on the side of the road right now with no throttle response, I'll show you what you can do that might just get you rolling again here. Okay, this is the passenger side valve cover. You can see relationship, there's the alternator, passenger side valve cover. You have an 04 and up, the ICP sensors just right there it's a three wire sensor just unplug it these will default and actually if it loses that input it'll drive it'll uh, compensate for it and start to drive so you're better off with a um, no input versus a bad input so just unplug it here and then drive it and see if that cures your problem okay I have the new ICP sensor installed as you can see, it's reading about a quarter of a volt, which is normal for an 04 and up. 0.24 is normally what we see, and it defaults to the 15% or 14.84. That's normal key on engine off. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Let's see what the percentage IPR works at now with the new sensor in it. Let it stabilize. And that's normally what we see. 24 is the average. Maybe as low as 22 with everything good. As high as 30 when it's a cold idle with no nothing wrong as far as injectors. But that's what we expect to see as far as IPR percentage. So that's something that you want to watch for is the uh, it's one of the tricks to uh, help you out to diagnose these is watch your IPR percentage and make sure it's not compensating for something or giving us issues by hitting that 15 or 85 percent thank you